Unending Dawn. Yes. If you haven't heard of the game yet, he's the new cool kid on the block. It is another fantasy open world gacha game. To put it simply, pretend Genshin Impact and uh, Elden Ring kind of baby. Or if you're more up to date, it would be a Withering Rapes competitor. I do say it's a competitor, but overall, uh, from the trailer, it seems to have a different feel. A more accurate description would be if you were to play Elden Ring in anime style graphics. From what was shown in the trailer, you have a skill, ultimate, iframe dash, character specific skill, or talent, whatever you play your boat. You have a block. Some sort of bar that charges up, more on that later. And you can swap characters, so prepare your wallet. Or though, in case this becomes another Tower Fantasy incident. Right off the bat, the cinematics are top tier. Visuals are crucially important, and so are sound effects and voice acting, which they did not keep their budget low. Sound effects are amazing, so are the voice acting, at least for the Chinese version. If I were to judge their cinematic trailer alone, I would say it is competing side by side with Genshin Impact and Hunger Star. A little disclaimer, anything that I say is not the final product, I'm just trying to analyze what's going on. So I could be wrong, so you could click off now, but don't, please, subscribe. Combat scene's pretty solid. Except for one thing which I'll mention later on. Also, you take a good chunk of damage whenever a mob manages to land an attack on you. So you can realistically take anywhere from 3 or 5 hits before your HP bar depletes. Unless that's a boss. The bosses will get you. However, fear not, health potions are also at your disposal. Which will make your experience a little bit better. Pretty similar to games like Dark Souls and uh, Elden Ring. Mob variations look very promising along with their animations. Anyways, the world is beautiful, but my... God, is it empty? Where are all the life? Where are the mobs? I'm kidding, there's a high probability that they just want to show us the scenery. Which, fantastic job. We also have whatever this is. Uh, maybe if you get into it, it would take you to the newest spiral abyss. Now, the only caveat at the moment is the blocking mechanic. I, I hate to say it, but it's pretty hard garbage from what we've been shown. It seems to charge up some sort of bar. No idea what it does yet, but it only charges up whenever damage is blocked or taken. But seeing that, the blocking bar is much brighter, bigger, and thicker than your health bar, we can safely make the assumption that this is something of the most importance. After all, size does matter no matter where your girlfriend says. You can also block forever. And I mean, just hold it down and you'll be pretty much immortal. However, just like any holes, there's always a way through. In one instance, the boss grapples the player and it was not blockable, surprise. So it's not completely damage proof, but it is one hell of a powerful tool that takes zero skill. Although some can argue that it is seemingly a difficult game, so we need some sort of handicap. To that, I say just go play Genshin, man. Uh, it is a game catered towards a much different audience. Audience such as you. The combat is very easy to understand, even for older demographics. And that is why the average age of a Genshin player did you know? It's a whopping 35. That's right, go look that up. Heck, go ask your mom if she plays Genshin. I bet she say yes. Know how I knew? Because I, jokes aside, Unending Dawn will very likely draw players from Elden Ring, Dark Souls, and even Withering Waves. Granted, not everyone will be a fan of the anime style graphics, but point is, they are more of a hardcore player. Now, when a mechanic that is designed to baby the player, like the training wheels on your bicycle from you were like, two years old, it creates a weird dynamic where the hardcore players don't want to be babied and those that need to be babied will still think blocking is not sufficient enough and therefore the game is too hard so I'm gonna quit the game and go back to Genshin to pick some mints. Don't attack me. I love Genshin. But then again, we don't know much about the game yet, so it's fairly hard to give advice on how they should improve the blocking mechanic. Personally, I am a very big fan of very precise blocking mechanics or pair mechanics. They feel cool, man. They, they feel rewarding. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, I did some research. Apparently, it's a poise meter. Clearly, I don't play enough games to recognize that. Anyways, a poise meter is essentially the toughness bar, meaning that when the bar becomes full, you get staggered. If you don't know what that means, just think of it as when the bar is full, you'll be stunned for a little bit. That explains why blocking damage builds only a little bit, but taking damage at all increases it by a mile. I've only really played Elden Ring, so that's the only reference I have. Correct me if I'm wrong, but games like Dark Souls 
Sekiro and Elden Ring have the bars hidden with mobs. Only game that I can really think of right now that the show it is Withering Waves. The difference being in Unending Dawn, the boss actually regenerates their poise bar if they don't take damage. It is very slow and gradual, but you know, it's, it's a thing to know. And you also have your own poise bar? <laughs> Which, I don't know how to feel about that, seeing you already have a block that blocks everything and god. Okay, I want you to look at this. Imagine being the boss, swinging a gigantic sword at a girl wearing what is effectively a, a bikini holding an elongated toothpick. One swing, two swing, three, four, five, then dodges the other one. Can, can you imagine being the boss? Now, you uh, you would assume that did quite a bit of damage, but no, she actually blocked it all and it only did about one quarters of a way of the poise bar. It needs to be full for you to be staggered and yeah, pretty OP. Oh, did I mention? Literally two seconds later, the bar is already back to zero. And then you unleash your true strength. Hops vertically three miles into the air and nukes down with their lightning infused weapon that even the gods fear, shattering the grounds beneath you. Now you would have assumed um, that it did at least something. At least something, right? Well, actually, she blocked it. Not only that, it seems that if you were to just do a regular swing, you would have been better off and actually done more damage to the poise meter. So who really is the boss? With that said, I'm not particularly a huge fan of playing around the poise meter and oh my god, is that Rika from JJK if she were to join the dark side? I do have to say, it looks like a very well developed game with a great amount of effort put into it. Unfortunately, at the time of recording, it is only announced as coming to PlayStation 5, Android, and iOS. What about PC gamers? Um, maybe the lack of funding? Uh, but we can always be optimistic and hope once they have better funding, PC support will be in consideration. So never lose hope. I also did some research on the company that is developing it, which is Parsate's Face Studio? Parse face studio? I'm not saying that right, am I? But what I've learned will shock you. I've learned jack sh about the company. I'm almost certain you will find more information on your dad that once again built 10 years ago than find anything on the company. The only information I have is their name and this is their first project, which is really impressive by the way from the looks of it, but also very concerning due to lack of experience. Anyways, to all our friends who have been waiting for Unending Dawn, thank you for your patience. We continue to refine Unending Dawn and hope to meet you substantially within this year. Please stay tuned. Now, I don't know what that means. Does that mean more trailers? More gameplays? Uh, showcase? Beta? Alpha? Mind you, the first teaser for Weathering Waves came out two years ago and they've only recently released the game. And the trailer for Unending Dawn has only been out for 11 months, which is still a good amount of time. But the hope is that it would be a beta, this way they can further improve on the game from player feedbacks. But I don't know, they could just release the game in order to get more funding so they can further refine the game and live servers. Overall, it's a very nice looking game and concept is relatively unique. I'll be following the game development as I'm pretty interested, so make sure to subscribe. It's free and it helps me a lot. Thanks for watching to the very end and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you next time. Bye bye.